Hey, what's up, guys? This is D, the Grim Gamer, sitting alongside the suave one, Suave Beardson, and his fancy hat. <laughs> and uh, this is this is something that I thought about doing for quite a while. I, I I'm a fan of uh, checking out retro game shops, and you know, even if I don't buy anything, just picking something up, you know, and uh, just seeing what they got. And um, there's a couple that's uh, near here that we're gonna go check out. And uh, I figured uh, I'd just bring you know this camera along and kind of you know go into a little bit of what we find um if we do find anything i got a list of games on my phone so there's two specific ones that i'm looking for today see if i can see if i can find um <clears throat> but kind of just um you know document our experience he he's been to one of the ones that we're going to today but then there's another one that neither of us have been to and uh and then as you know time goes on if when i visit some other ones i might do some more of this and just kind of document different ones that i go to so that you know y'all can check them out and if you happen to be in the area if you want to check them out yourself you know that'd be uh something that you can do so um we're uh we're gonna head out and uh we're gonna check out these game stores so stick around so have you got anything else to say no, I think you covered all the bases. I got it? Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. We on the road. So we're at our first place, we and it. uh, it's uh, in Jackson, well, if you see it here, Jackson Crossing, and uh, the actual store is called uh, Game Go, I believe is what it was called. So we're going to get in here, and uh, we're going to we're gonna try to find it, <laughs> and uh, we're going to check it out. Let's we'll see what Game Go is all about. Right. So... All right, we walked in. We still haven't found Game Go yet, but we also see this. <laughs> at the, well, it's backwards, I think, but at the Pier Arcade. So, uh, I'm going to show you some of this. Look at the Aliens Armageddon. Oh, that's not running right now, though. Oh, of course not. Yeah, of course not. Dude, there's wires on the <laughs> Oh, yeah. No, they got it all ripped apart. Mad Wave Motion Theater. Oh, it's roller coasters. Oh, that's cool. Chuck and Cheese. Yeah, so yeah, some dealer no deal. No, dude, Time Crisis was where it was at. Oh. <laughs> Remember that one game at Paroli Park where it was like the revolver game where you'd have to stand there? Yup. <laughs> dude, Time Crisis is one I want to get for the house still. Oh, yeah, time oh there we go. Awesome. Classic driving game. Fast and Furious Tokyo Drift, man. Yeah. Dude, some of these are sweet. Surprised there's they a surprise they don't have Fast and Furious 17 in here. Oh, here's super bikes too. So there's a there's a uh, Pizza Hut up in Belleville that we go to. They have one of these sitting up there in their lobby. Oh. Go, man, get your sports talk football 93 for four bucks featuring starring Joe Montana. You meant Joe Montana, yeah. There you go, echo the t uh, tides of time for 10 bucks. Absolutely not. I do remember I had this game too. Oh, kill switch, yeah. I don't remember if it was any good or not. I don't remember it. Oh, there you go, pirates, Legend of the black bucket. Uh, oh, yeah, stuntman. Pirates, you can see my playthrough of that uh, on my channel. <laughs> oh, there's Stuntman Ignition for the PS2. Yeah, quite a few PS2. We got PS4s right behind us, too. Tiger Woods at the Mast. Yeah. What would you think there, Swab? It was a nice little place. I mean, like even just seeing the the VHSs in there was cool. Yeah, you know they they had some cool stuff. I mean, they had the holy grail of PS3 in there though. That's if I had 300 bucks, I'd have walked out with it. The backwards compatible with the uh, the different SD, SD card, card slots, slots and all that. Four man. USB ports instead of two, so you could actually play Rock Band on a some bitch if you wanted to. Right. You know, and yeah, just that that holy grail PS3, man. 
I tried to get a little something of a few things in there so you guys could kind of see a little something. So I didn't get everything. But, yeah, they had a lot of collectibles, a lot of uh, you know, VHS tapes, records, uh, all types of stuff in there. Actually seeing Kid Chameleon in the box was pretty sweet. Yeah. Um, Suave's just kind of looking. But um, I, I had... Oh. <laughs> I got a I got a couple games on my list that I was looking for today, and one of them I found. We got Heavenly Sword for the PS3, and uh, I recall that one being a lot of fun. Uh, I've recently got a uh, Dante's Inferno not long ago, but I'm a little leery about streaming that. Um, Fourteen bucks and uh, complete, you know, in the box. So uh, I'm not I'm not upset about that. And the other one I was not even looking for today, uh, I end up walking out with too. A it's greatest hits. I know collectors don't care for the greatest hits so much, but I don't care. Um, greatest hits, Metal Gear Solid, complete, manual case, both discs, twenty five bucks. And um, comparing it to some prices I can see it online, I don't rec I don't I don't think that's too bad. So I, I looked um, in the store and that game's going anywhere from like thirty five forty up with shipping. So 25 bucks out the door complete in box complete with the manual is a pretty good deal for that so um i i'm happy with a couple of the pickups that i got in there um overall um it's it's not a bad shop um talking with the staff you know they were all right so um they they seemed like they were more if 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 you were just there to look they didn't want to waste their time with you but once you actually showed interest in buying something they kind of warmed up to you a little bit and so the, we talked to them a little bit and you know once you get to talking to them and they open up to you a little bit then uh you know it was all right so i i personally wouldn't mind going back there again um at some point i don't know if it's now or or whatever but i'll like put the the uh um, address you know here somewhere so you guys can look it up if you're in the area or anything like that but game go got a couple good pickups for decent prices i feel like Definitely and, would have picked up some more if I had the money. Yeah. Uh, I, I could have definitely gone broke in there. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that's no doubt. But we're going to be like, Mrs. Suave, um, we got to go file for bankruptcy now. <laughs> yeah, I bought a PS3 that's backwards compatible. <laughs> Worth it! Even though I have a working PS2 at home. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, so, yeah, we're going to head off to uh, another one just down the street. It's Disc Traders, and uh, we're going to see what we can find there. All right, just down the street, <laughs> and now we're at the uh, second location, which is, uh, well, it's uh, Disc Traders. I've been to a Disc Traders once before that's uh, a lot closer to me. So um, just looking in the windows there, I probably have a huge selection. So we're going to head in here and see what we can find. I I've been to this one once before, um, and they, they had a nice PS2 selection, decent PS1 selection, pretty good ps3 selection i didn't really look at much else their gamecube selection was very small um but in terms Just of like par for the core seems like anymore <laughs> yeah but in terms of like the retro you know like 64 genesis stuff i didn't really look at that because i don't have one um i did browse them a little bit but i didn't really pay too much attention to it but yeah i'm interested to see if they've got anything else from the last time i've been here because it's been about two months since i've been here so we're gonna go in and check it out Do it. Some gold nugget. <laughs> gold nugget. <laughs> that, that ain't too bad. Shit. Underground two for the GameCube, eighteen bucks. Yeah. There you go. Get your WrestleMania eighteen for twelve. Yeah. What is that? Uh, Alpha Protocol. And it's done by Obsidian. So, okay. Accomplish your mission with stealth, firepower, sabotage. Decide how the story plays out based on the choices you make. A civilian airline's been attacked and worldwide political tensions are rising. A secret agent, Michael Thornton, your path is open and your options are unlimited. And the first modern day espionage RPG, your greatest weapon will be choice. Nice. That exactly. actually don't sound too bad. Yeah, I, I remember I had it, and I, I remember enjoying it, and I think, and it's only six bucks. That's not bad. And I think you could, uh, 
get on Steam as well. I think it was taken down for a while. Okay. But the last I looked, I seem to remember it was there. So I don't know if it got taken down and put back up. Yeah. Oh, here's a here's another one that I thought about re-getting. Oh yeah. Some heavy rain. <laughs> So apparently somebody didn't care for Heavy Rain Director's Cut when they got it from GameGo <laughs> and turned it back in here at Disc Traders. <laughs> I don't know why. I just thought that was kind of funny. So spent a lot more time in there than I thought I would. And they actually had a couple other things that I would have liked to have picked up, but I just I just didn't. Their their PS2 and PS3 collection is pretty impressive. And if you're into Xbox, which we're not, never have been, but their half, X half the store is Xbox. Yeah, there's a lot of selection in there too. Um, they've got a handful of some cartridge games and stuff. The GameCube is practically nothing, but again, that seems par for the course anywhere you go these days. Yeah. But uh, I did pick up one other thing. I got me Army of Two. Uh, this is the greatest hits version. I uh, got it for six bucks. Formerly so, owned by yeah, Kenny. Kenny, Kenny, yeah. Kenny Belcher. If you're watching this, yeah, Kenny, I got your copy. Yeah. It's going to a good home. <laughs> Appreciate you, Kenny. Um, it will get played at some point. This actually might be one that uh, I play with a buddy. I told him about it, and you know, it's kind of. I had this years ago, and it's, you know, it's got some co-op, you know, things that I think we're specifically for a two player type game and if you only have one player then the AI takes over the other one but I would imagine playing it with somebody else which I haven't done before uh, would actually be I, I think pretty Dad cool. actually had that game years back because I Did remember he? playing it. I, I, I do remember me and you playing through one of them. Really? Yeah. I, I mean that could have been but so I picked up that so I got a couple things at each place and there, you there's know. There's definitely a handful of PS2 and PS3 games I would have liked to get uh, my PS2 still works, but my PS3 does not. Yeah, um, I got a disk drive on that went kaput. Uh, he's, so. he's got a couple consoles that's giving him grief. But as far as going out, checking out some game stores, you know, I wanted to say game hunting, but I mean, I had a couple things I was hunting for, struck out on a couple of them. But um, I did walk away with um, a couple games that I wasn't looking for, at least one of them that I was. So I suppose we can say that it was a pretty successful time. And uh, Suave, I appreciate you. Uh, coming out here with me in, in uh, game game shopping game uh yeah game so it, hunting it's always nice to even if even if you are broke like i am right now to just walk through and just just take a look at a lot of the old games like yeah seeing need for speed underground 2 again like that was that game had such you know was so awesome back in the day and i still tell people every day like yeah that was hands down the best need for speed game ever made and then I get the opportunity to maybe buy it because it was only like five or six bucks. I, I probably could have bought it if I really wanted to, but and then I'm like, that that game might be one of the ones that should only exist in my memory. <laughs> so it's like some of them you see them, you you have that you know five seconds of nostalgia, and that's all it needs to be. <laughs> so you can have that experience, which is always nice. Yeah. So going into places like this, I enjoy, and I, I've been wanting to do something like this for a while. I don't know how this is all going to turn out once I actually, you know, put it all together. But if it turns out all right, and if it's something that you know people are interested in, as I continue to go through or go to um, several other retro game stores, I'll take you along with me, and uh, you know, let you check it out with me, and we'll keep this as a, a little running series when I go to different ones if uh it's, it's something that y'all like so um that's gonna be it for this one though again this is suave beardson uh check him out on twitch and on youtube um he uh streams every wednesday and sunday nights uh, on twitch there will be a link in the description for the discord the grim beardson discord you'll be able to find all the links for his stuff and uh you know some other links and stuff for me as well in the description and with the uh of uh, you know through the discord and all that so suave you got anything else to add yeah nah well check out suave beards and when you get the chance if you haven't already and uh yeah that's gonna be it so until next time i'm d the grim gamer we'll catch you later stay suave <laughs>